Giorgio Vasari was born in the Reggio Tuscany in 1511. In the early age, he showed a huge talent in painting. And at the age of 16, he moved to Florence, where he studied under Bartolomeo Bandinelli. It is said that Bandinelli was happy to have Vasari as a pupil, even though the pupil would quickly outshine the master. Despite Bandinelli having many students and him not having much time to dedicate to Vasari's education, Vasari's towns flourished, and after only two years with Bandinelli, Vasari moved to Rome. While in Rome, Vasari studied the works of Raphael and others from the High Roman Renaissance. Vasari worked in a style called Mannerist painting, but it is evident that he draws heavily from the works of other great masters. Giorgio Vasari received many commissions from the Medici family, who were at the time the most powerful family in Italy. The Medici commissioned him to do such works like the Great Hall of Plaza Vecchio and the ceiling of the Duomo in Florence. The Great Hall in the Palazzo Vecchio consists of 39 paneled frescoes that depict epic times in the history of Florence. All of the paintings are separated by golden dividers and are arranged chronologically throughout the massive room. Giorgio Vasari, along with Federico Zucciari, were commissioned to paint the inside of the Dome of the Duomo, also known as the Cathedral of Santa Maria del Fiore. Sadly, Vasari does not live to see its completion. The ceiling is done in paint instead of the more traditional mosaic and is titled The Last Judgment. Unlike many of the artists of his time, Vasari became very well respected and wealthy. In 1547, he built a home for himself in his hometown of Arezzo, Italy. He spent much of his life filling the walls with paintings by masters that he admired. He continued to do his own work and became good friends with Michelangelo. Vasari soon showed that while he had talent for painting, he had even greater talent for architecture and history. Vasari was approached by a friend named Paolo Giovio to create the first art history book. Vasari liked the idea, and in 1550 the first edition of The Lives of the Most Celebrated Painters, Sculptors, and Architects was published. It is known as The Lives for short. The book contained the most complete and well-written accounts of some of the greatest artists of the Renaissance. Because of this, Giorgio Vasari is known as the first art historian. In 1564, Vasari was commissioned by the Grand Duke of Tuscany, Cosmo I, to build a passageway that would come to be known as the Vasari Corridor. Cosmo I did not feel it was safe for him or his family to move around the general public, so the corridor was to be a safe passage for the Medici family and their guests to move between their residence at the Palazzo Pitti and the government buildings at the Palazzo Vecchio. The Vasari Corridor is an overhead passageway that goes from the western gallery of the Palazzo Vecchio heads towards the Arno River. It is then raised up by arches over the city. It then follows the Arno River to the famed Ponte Vecchio Bridge where it passes over the rooftops of the goldsmith shops. On the other side of the Arno River, it passes through the Church of Santa Felicia. Finally, it passes down the rooftops and branches with two exits one in the bubbly gardens, and the other near the apartments in the Palazzo Pitti. At the time that the corridor was being built, the Ponte Vecchio Bridge was a home to butcher shops and meat markets. However, Cosmo I was disturbed by the smells that hit his nose whenever he passed through the corridor, so he had them all relocated and replaced with jewelry stores and goldsmiths that still exist today. Today, the Vasari Corridor is owned by the Florence Museum and is used as a storage of sorts. Lining its walls are over 1,000 paintings that date from the 17th and 18th centuries, as well as self-portraits of some of the greatest painters of the last six centuries. The collection was started by Cardinal Leopoldo de' Medici in the 17th century. It continues to receive additions to this day. Today, for those with VIP connections, you can take a guided tour of the famed Vasari Corridor and experience one of the greatest pieces of history that is rarely viewed. Giorgio Vasari died on June 27, 1571, but his contributions to history haven't been forgotten.